Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Officials investigating a deadly fire after a house was engulfed in flames. Genesee Township Fire Department received the call just before 6 a.m. on Drexel Street. And as firefighters battled the fire, one person was pronounced dead at the scene. We get here, send units around to the backside to the bedroom, try to do a search, and everything came up negative in the in the back area of the house. The front part of the house was fully involved, so we couldn't get up and reach the front half. We were doing a defensive attack on the front half of the house. The fire causing major damage with the roof caved in. We still don't know what caused that fire. State investigators are now involved in the case. Stay with TV5 for any updates. A Flint Township woman is now behind bars for making threats toward a local elementary school. Police say the woman called the threat in just before 9 in the morning on September 7th. Police searched the buildings but did not find a threat, so classes continued. Authorities say they arrested the 31-year-old Flint Township woman after an extensive investigation. She was charged with three felonies, including false threats and tampering with evidence. Her name is being withheld until she's officially charged in court. And if you're looking to getting into the holiday spirit, there's no better place to do it than at the 33rd Annual Festival of Trees put on by the Junior League of the Great Lakes Bay Region. Surround yourself with 150 decorated Christmas trees, wreaths, and garland, and enjoy 15 gift vendors at the Great Hall in Midland. Put a raffle ticket in for the chance to win a tree or gift. That event is open Saturday and Sunday, money raised goes back into the community. Tickets are $5 at the door and veterans are free all weekend. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. We do have a colder Friday afternoon ahead of us once a cold front moves through and we just turn much cooler into the upcoming weekend too. So that part of the forecast has been holding together pretty well. As of right now, we do have temperatures in the upper 50s right near 60 degrees, but that'll start to fall off pretty sharply behind that cold front throughout the afternoon as it progresses. Once we head into tonight, we'll fall back down to around that freezing point with this colder air mass settling in. On your first alert hour by hour, you'll notice though not really expecting much rainfall, if any, out of this cold front possibly just an isolated shower north of the Saginaw Bay, but otherwise this is expected to be a dry passage of this cold front. Once we head into your Saturday, you'll start to notice the lake effect kicking in rain and snow showers mixed on Saturday before Sunday just turns to purely snow showers, but with it being lake effect, there will be more of that hit or miss variety. Now, once we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we'll keep an eye on the next low pressure system that's expected to move through. It should primarily bring snowfall to the area. We could see some rain mixing in with that too, just depends on how warm we actually get on Tuesday afternoon and on Wednesday afternoon as well. But this will be something to watch towards the middle of next week. We still have seen some variability in terms of the timing and also where this low actually ends up tracking. But again, something to watch for next week. But through the weekend, just make sure you're bundling up. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.